Hey guys, so for today's video, you are going to learn step-by-step -step how to install a wig. So obviously, I like to jump right into videos. So here we go. I've already done the ball cap method. And what I'm doing here is just spraying some foundation on the ball cap so that everything can blend. Um, if you want that foundation, you can get it from CVS. I believe it was around $11 to $15. So what I'm doing now is I'm just blow drying the product in um, just so that nothing lifts up when it's time to actually cut the ball cap off. So here is the wig. It's plucked, it's bleached, um, it's washed. Obviously it's been sitting on the wig head I believe overnight. So this is a beautiful Waterwave HD lace wig and it is 24 inches and it is from Asteria Hair. So I already cut my ball cap. I did as best as I could and I put the strap behind my head just to make sure that everything stays. So now I'm just fitting the wig to my head and this part is very important because you want to grab some scissors and kind of cut off the excess lace around your ears so that it could fit your particular forehead. Now we are going in with our bold hold glue. This is the only glue that I use. This is the glue that I swear by. So we're going to go in with the first layer. I just like to dot it all over my hairline. And then I have a wired comb and I'm just going to smear it in. And honestly, I'm only smeared it in with a wire comb for video purposes because usually I will smear it in with my finger and just wash my finger off. But since I'm not by a sink, I'm just doing it, you know, with the comb. And then you want to blow dry it until it is smooth and blow dry it until it's clear and you can no longer see the white because you cannot install your wig if you're still if you're still seeing the white glue. So after this, after I get everything dry, I'm going to basically just go in and do a second layer and repeat the exact same process. Now it's time to actually put the lace on. The only thing that I'm going to say, guys, is to make sure that you have a comb because when you put the lace on, you want to comb it into the glue, comb it into your hairline. Um, I've noticed that that has made a huge, huge, huge difference. And then go ahead and let the lace dry. I let my lace dry for like, I don't know how long, probably like 30 minutes. And look at that. It's, you can't tell me that it's not giving scalp because it is. So now um, I'm about to carve out the baby hairs that I'm going to be cutting for you guys. Um, I do apologize. Some of these clips, I kind of wasn't in the camera and I was in the camera at the same time. I just think that the angle was a little bit off. So obviously you can see me parting the hair out. And then in a few minutes, you're going to see me pluck the baby hairs because you don't want your baby hairs to be too 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 thick and then also i feel that you should make sure that you have some clips during this process so that you can separate the, your baby hairs from the rest of the hair because in a second you're also going to cut it so you just want to make sure that everything is separate and just makes everything cleaner So like I said, um, you want everything to look clean and separate. So what I'm going to actually do in just a second is grab some mousse and slick back the other hair so that I could separate it from my baby hairs. I'm gonna comb it back, slick it back, and just make everything look really good. It's also gonna look good for the actual install itself. Um, that's something that I would do every single morning as well. Like when I'm doing my baby hairs, I will make sure that you know everything is just separate from each other so now i'm just showing off the lace at this point I'm trying to get a good thumbnail but yeah i'm showing off the lace at this point because it looks like it's coming out of my scalp so now i'm cutting the baby hairs at an angle this is the part that i was talking about when i accidentally kind of wasn't really in the camera and uh the next thing i did was just get a small baby flat iron and i just uh curled the baby hairs upwards and now I think <laughs> so now I am I'm sorry I'm still curling so now I'm just grabbing a brush like an edge brush and then just swooping in that same direction and you're gonna see the outcome in just a second
and these are the baby hairs get into it get into it i only wanted to do two baby hairs i believe i did the sideburns off camera i thought i actually filmed them on camera but here you go here are my baby hairs there's the scalp there's the wig and that is the full install okay so this is the final outcome of the hair and let me just tell you guys um i literally prolonged this video because one i love the hair so much it's been installed for a very long time two i actually had caught covid so in the first beginning clips um i was recording obviously i did the install and then um i wasn't able to record the outcome of the hair until now which is like five days later so I wanted to show you guys how fresh the install still looks after five days. So I just want to start off with that. Secondly, like I said, love this hair. Um, I had this unit in the entire time and I will continue to keep this hair in for a very long time. This is a water wave. Um, as you can see, it's pretty long on me. And the hair is actually dry right now. Um, the only thing that I did, I did spray a little bit of water on it like a few minutes ago, but I only spray water at the roots because I don't like for my hair to be like really puffy at the roots. But, oh my God, like I'm mesmerized. Um, with this hair, the only thing that you really have to do, um, besides of course fixing up your baby hair and stuff, the only thing that you really have to do uh, to keep up with the maintenance of this hair is to just literally put water on it and put your favorite oil. Sometimes I will put in a leave-in conditioner well, actually, I always put in leave-in conditioner when I have curly or water wave hair, but for some reason, this hair does not need a leave-in conditioner. So all I do is just put in water. Um, I would drench the hair, of course, and let it air dry, and I will put in any type of oil. You can do Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. You can do um, Cantu oil. I like Cantu oil. You can do coconut oil, like not literal coconut oil, but hair coconut oil. You can do anything that you want. I actually did all three. So the hair is shiny, it's bouncy, it's lovely, and it doesn't really need products. So, yeah. I, it's kind of hard to give a review on hair that's like really, really, really good like this. Because it's like, dang, what do I say besides I love the hair, I love the hair, I love the hair. But I will let you guys know um, as far as shedding. Obviously, when you have curly hair or wavy hair, there's going to be some shedding. You're not going to not have any shedding. But with this hair... Um, I don't get big balls of hair. I probably will get like just a couple of strands of hair whenever I'm brushing through it. And that's only when I'm detangling the hair. So that's obviously not like an all the time thing. Um, smells, there are no smells with this hair. And also the natural color is very dark. Um, I think, yeah, this hair is really, really, really dark. And I love that because I like to dye my hair black anyways. This hair is very dark. Um, it doesn't have like that brown color in the sun. I don't like that personally. I know some people may like that, but this hair is dark. Um, it looks very natural and the HD lace is HD lacing. I'm going to give you guys a little up close. I'm sorry if my lighting is kind of bad, but you know, I got to do what I got to do. But yes, um, HD lace is definitely lacing. Like I said, um, it is definitely melting into my scalp uh you can use whatever product you want to install your unit i did use bold hold as you can see before and yeah I just let everything melt in and it looks very 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 natural so if i had to give this unit a rating i honestly would give it a 10 out of 10 i never give 10s so yeah I'm giving this unit a 10 out of 10. This might be um, the best hair that I've had in a very long time. So yes, um, go ahead and make sure you shop with them. Um, if you have any questions about this hair, feel free to comment in the comment section below, but make sure to check out the description box first because nine times out of 10, I'm gonna have to answer to your question in the description box. So check that out first. But if not, go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up. Also turn on your post notification bell so that you can get notifications when I post. Last but not least, hit that subscribe button and we are out.